meditation, shall we? Mm. Hopefully the camera doesn't come off because I can't see. But anyway. Inhale, bringing our arms up. Exhale, dropping them down to our sides, sitting in a comfortable seated position, feeling the energy of Mother Earth, Gaia, Sasiya, coming in through our root chakra. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Exhale, bringing them to our knees, coming into a grounding energy. Taking a deep inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling in fresh new oxygen. Exhaling old oxygen. <sighs> Last one. Inhaling new oxygen. Exhaling old oxygen. <sighs> now let's go ahead and create a new neurotransmitter, a new neural pathway in our minds. We are going to inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five. When we are holding for five, we are going to say an affirmation. So think of the affirmation that you want. Go ahead and inhale. Hold and say the affirmation in your mind. Exhale. That was more than five seconds, but I can hold my breath for a long time. So whatever you are comfortable with, let's go ahead and do that again with the same affirmation. Go ahead and exhale. Did you guys hear how my voice changed? Go ahead and exhale. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, last one, inhaling, holding, and creating a new neurotransmitter. And you wanna make sure that you're repeating the affirmation as many times as possible, because that is how the brain works, through repetition. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bringing prayer hands to your third eye. Inhale, exhale, bringing prayer hands to heart. Inhale, left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Left hand is feminine energy, right hand is masculine energy. Left hand coming to your heart is feminine to feminine. Right hand coming to your belly is masculine to physical touch, masculine to being held. Inhaling, exhaling through the nostrils. Inhaling through the nostrils, exhaling through the nostrils, letting the day go. You are allowed to believe in yourself. You are allowed to believe in yourself. You are allowed to believe in yourself. And so it is. Mm, namaste. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, and so it is. It is so. What's up? What's up, friend? What's up? So I... Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do readings. You guys know I'm an intuitive healer, and I do do readings on my website, avinaunsa.com, but I also do donation-based readings. So I'm about to do one right now, and um, I use my tarot cards, I use my intuition, I use all light, all love. So if you are looking to book a session with me, I did a lot of sessions during 2020, and then I stopped and then I started, but um, I'm always open and available for readings and for intuitive healing sessions, um, which they're usually an hour and I do provide an email full of inf useful information to use so that you're not just leaving with 
like oh my god that was so cool no like i'm giving you practical tools so be sure to check out abinaansa.com i also do one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions i do um one-on-one -on -one tarot readings one-on-one -on -one intuitive healing readings so be sure to check that out and um if you feel like oh the prices da -da 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 -da, are just like a bit much for me right now i'm also open to doing donation based so yeah uh i have to do better at sharing that more i'm always sharing about salome shay salome shay i have to do better at sharing about uh, excuse me abinaansa.com but yeah if you have not checked out abinaansa.com be sure to check it out okay the, it starts in one minute so let me go <laughs> do this reading okay <laughs> bye all right so i literally just like bled through my period panties and my sweatpants not a lot of blood but enough to get on my white chairs luckily the chairs are made of a like a material that i can easily wipe off but that's the thing about period panties depending on the brand and i'm blessed that all the period panties i have were sent to me they were gifted they were free and i'm blessed about that but some of them are just like they don't hold liquid they don't hold the period blood well so sometimes and i'm sitting here i'm still editing last week's vlog so and it's like 6 45 right now i'm doing very well i'm almost done i'm like right at the part where i get to chicago so i'm almost done but anyway i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna free bleed i'm just gonna take a towel put it on the chair and just like bleed into the towel because i have four period panties they've all been used because i started cycling yesterday started cycling yesterday went through them i used my period i used my um i used my period cup my cup while at work but i didn't i didn't insert it well so i was just it was just messy anyway i know i'm not going to be bleeding for that long and i'm still thankful because the mood pills taking sea moss not eating too much cheese or chocolate i really be trying to be good y'all i'm not gonna judge myself um before my period and yoni steaming has completely eliminated cramps from my moon cycle like um i cramped a little bit today but that's because my um period cup was not in the right place but anyway i'm just free bleeding right now because sometimes it just has to be like sometimes you just really just gotta be like you know what i'm just gonna like not even be bothered i do have to go and wash those period panties sometimes i wash them by hand when i wash them by hand i take some of the the um just like i rinse it first i rinse it with water and take that water and then put it in my plants you guys know from my very first blog i talk blog i talk about how period blood has a lot of nutrients and minerals it's like a fertilizer for your plants all right i'm losing i don't have enough um memory card room on my memory card anyway um so yeah you guys already know this is a very period positive channel i'm a very period positive period positive person um so yeah if you free bleeding just taking a towel or sitting on the towel and just letting yourself bleed into the towel it's not a big deal whatsoever it's not a big deal i promise it's not a big deal it's a beautiful deal that's what it is anyway all right I'm gonna focus, keep watching Teen Mom 2, and get this vlog out. I wish y'all knew how much work it goes into it. I really enjoy it, that's the thing. I actually really enjoy making vlogs. Like, I love, I'm loving it. So I hope y'all are loving it too. I hope y'all can feel that energy. And be sure to share, comment, subscribe, shop Salome Shea. And, okay, let me turn this off, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I probably won't. You'll never know. So, as you can see, my skin tone is looking very deep and dark right now. So I just want to have a conversation with all of my deep, dark skin girls. Let us remember, okay? Let us remember that the people that would make fun of our dark skin, the people that would call us names or say that, you know, girls shouldn't be dark skinned 
or any of those nonsensical things, let's just remember that the majority of those people are of a state of mind created by colonialism, created by the Europeans to hate themselves, right? So what's happening is that they were in a place of deep hurt themselves and could not see the beauty in themselves. And so my love, they could not see the beauty in you. For all the family members that made comments about your dark skin, deep skin, let us just remember that they are also dealing with colonialism. They're also dealing with a European mindset. And let us just give them forgiveness and let us remove from our subconscious that the people that we cared about who made comments that were not encouraging and not loving about our dark skin, deep skin, let us continue to remember that they were coming from a place of self-hate. They were coming plus from a place that of self-hate that was taught to them, generation after generation. And they lied. They lied. Okay? Because all of this is power. All of this is richness all of this is the original human all of this is the first human let us not forget that the oldest and oldest human being to be found was in ethiopia a black african woman god said that the first human being that god would ever create that the creator ever created was a black african woman let it not let it seep into your pores let that knowledge seep into your pores so have i was I deeply hurt when people would make fun of my skin? One time one boy said I was, I was the darkest girl he had ever seen. As if I was a mysterious jaguar that he had never seen before, like an exotic animal. Or um, boys saying, oh, she's black as hell. And it's like, this is not a bad, th why is that bad? Why is it bad to be dark? Why is it bad to be black? Oh, I know why. Because someone somewhere one day said that someone somewhere at one point in human history said, you know what? I don't like these people because I don't like myself. So what I'm going to do is I am going to I am going to fuck up their mindset about themselves and make them forget how beautiful and strong and powerful they are. And I'm going to make them turn on each other. So please, if you are still holding on to any type of comments or bullying from friends or people in school or people on the internet, please let it out of your mind, let it go, and remember who you are, what you are, and why you are. That was a message from your big sis, Beanie. And as I speak to you, I speak to myself. As I speak to you, I speak to myself. And it is okay for you to believe that you were never too black, that you your blackness didn't automatically mean you were ugly, or that you were undesirable or unattractive. It simply meant that they could not see the magnificent beauty that you were because they could not see it in themselves because they have been taught to hate themselves. So please remember that. When you go out in the sun, bitch, let yourself get a tan. When you go out in the sun, bitch, put the um, sunscreen on and get a fucking tan. And let's see how deep this melanin can really fucking go. Let's see how deep the melanin can bring really go. <sighs> okay. Now seriously. Let's go back to focusing. I got some um, vegetable dumplings in the microwave that I'm about to eat right now. Some of that kimchi I showed you guys in the last vlog. Alright, so one of the quickest ways to manifest what you want is to say my subconscious now accepts that I have $200 now. The key words are my subconscious accepts and now. Happy manifesting.
about the computer is that you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and yeah, park every night. and visualize seeing yourself as... Yeah, I would visualize... Uh, yeah, I would this visualize... This is when you were broken for. Right, yeah. Directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, saying, you know, I like to work, whatever that is. And, and uh, visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, I do have these things. They're out there. I just have a moment. Yeah, they're out there. I am working really hard at rewiring my subconscious to let go of my grandmother's wounded child that she projected onto my mother, that my mother projected onto me, and I thought I had done a lot of work, which I have, but there is still work to be done, and it's not that I believe that oh if i continue to work on this then this will get better no there's just some things that come up through my nervous i'm regulating my nervous system and but there's things that come up that i'm like this isn't mine this is not my stuff this is not my thought pattern this is not me so just reclaiming my identity because when you have a narcissistic parent you take on their identity it's like a parasite you take on their identity so you have to an enmeshment there's a lot of enmeshment that happens with parents even if they're not narcissistic there's a lot of enmeshment that happens with parents and children that don't have boundaries um so i'm just constantly pulling away it's like cobwebs it's like you think you got it and then you still find some in your hair so that's how it is right now the moon is mooning i mean jesus that is fucking beautiful wow we really are in space or not and it's just a hologram. Either way, it's beautiful. You guys can't really see it, but wow, gorgeous. Okay, let me put my phone on and enjoy this in real time. Because they did not love themselves, baby. Let go of the people who did not like you because they did not like themselves. Let go of the people who could not see you because they could not see themselves. You are holding on to negativity. You are holding on to negative people because that is what you are used to. That is what you believed you deserved. But baby, I'm here to tell you, wake up. You don't deserve that. Wake up. It is time for you to receive the golden blessings that are here for you. You got to let go of the comfort you have with negativity. But your subconscious keeps holding on to the comfort of the negative. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go.